Hello friends and family of YouTube. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I like the Micro Light series and I've got one today I'm going to show you. It is a 29KSWS by Flagstaff Micro Light. Micro Light is by far my favorite series, so I want to show you around on this one. Well, starting on the right side, I'd like to point out to you, as I said earlier, this unit has three slide outs. Got two on this uh, on this side, and they both have an awning over the slide, so that'll help protect them, keep them uh, keep them from leaking, keep them dry, and give you many more years of service out of this RV. And you can see that it's got a window on the front here, on the front cap. Got enough room for two batteries, and there's two propane tanks in here, and also you have an electric tongue jack. It's got four corner jacks around this unit as well. And it is solar, solar wired. So if you wanted to charge up your batteries, you just hook right into that solar plug there and charge it right up. Also has a slide on this side, a little bit bigger than the other two slides. Got a three-step entry with a good size grab bar. Let's go inside. All right, this is your view as you enter the front door. Look how roomy, spacey this RV is. Man, I tell you what, you could use this as a park model or a travel model. It has got plenty of room. You definitely could live in here. And hey, you'll notice it does have a dinette here, but somebody has uh, set it in the downward position, I guess, to illustrate how you can make that into a bed. But uh, again, that is a dinette. The table will rise up and be perfect for you to, to eat a meal at. And you see it's got a two-seater, uh, I don't know if you call these chairs or if you call this actually a couch, but you can see that it's got four cup holders along through here. And uh, you've got a full-size couch here. And right here you've got your TV, and down below you've got a gas, or I'm sorry, this is not a gas, this is an electric fireplace. And of course you can see that it's got the refrigerator, which is a double uh, over-under unit and plenty of drawers to do some storage with. I'll go a little bit more through it with you here in just a minute, but I just wanted to kind of give you a quick run through, let you see this layout of this open area because it is very, very open. So again, uh, one thing I'd like to point out is how many windows this thing has. Now, of course, it is right next to that. You can see that RV out there. It is only about eight inches away from that window. So it's not able to get a lot of light in here, but the curtains and blinds are still pulled down. But look how many windows is in this unit. So if you was parked somewhere with a wonderful view, that would really be nice. And again, like I said, it does have an over-under. Let me show you this refrigerator. I love these handles on these. It's so much easier to open than the units that they've been putting out for years. But I do like that. You just pull on the handle and it easily opens if y'all been fooling around with some of these uh refrigerators you know what i'm talking about a lot of them really have some odd handles on them to get them open let me show you this uh these drawers here it's about a six inch deep drawer and it's probably about 18 inches that way but yeah it's about five to six inches deep got a uh, three burner cooktop and it does have an oven as well and you've still got some more storage area right over the, uh, the, the stove. And you can see here we've got a sink. And it's got a little bit of the, somebody has turned the water on and it did splash some of the water. So I'm not going to lift that because if I did it would get on the counter. And I don't want to make a mess. But uh, just wanted to show you what was going on here. We do have some storage underneath the sink. Plenty of room to put you some pots and pans. And I don't think I mentioned on the sink faucet. You can uh, easily adjust that to whatever needs you have. And it's got a little bit of storage here beside the microwave. So yeah, plenty of room. Let's go, uh, let's show you here. We've got uh, HVAC, that's what this is. That's uh, your thermostat. And here's your control panel. And this is right as you enter the door so you don't have to walk very far to to uh, be able to control your awnings, your slide outs, any of that stuff. So uh, go to the bathroom now. You got a standard foot flush by Dometic and got a little bit of cabinetry in here. Also with the sink, 
and you can see that's a pretty good size sink and it does have a uh, medicine cabinet here and it's about four to five inches deep so there's plenty of room to store a lot of your bathroom goodies and let me get this uh, open the shower and show you the design of the shower it's got sliding doors on here let me step back just a little bit and show you that so these doors will slide back and forth and lock into place and you've got room to put uh like here you can put your bathroom supplies in that that's like a hanging bag and uh, of course you got a little area there to put some stuff as well and it's got uh got a overhead area so for the taller fellas as you're standing in there you're not uh knocking your knocking your head as you're trying to take a bath this doorway right here goes into the bedroom you can see that this door slides back and forth as opposed to uh, opening in a standard direction and this right here just fastens it so that as you're traveling this door is not banging back and forth let me show you a little bit of the storage that's about uh, 14 to 16 inches deep and you can see that there's three layers in there uh, plenty of room to put plenty of stuff and got uh, every one of these drawers or doors rather I'm sorry are the same way you've got uh, three compartments over and under and you've got some uh, you got some drawers that slide out and up above you've got area to store right above the bed and in here you do have the air conditioner and it has the uh, ducts built into the ceiling also has a uh, that nice crisp lighting that you see in a lot of these newer models this year of the 2018 and here is where you would hang your TV in the bedroom so that way you would be able to lay in the bed and watch TV and still uh, still be able to put a good sized TV there I don't doubt you could put at least a 45 inch TV on that wall and you do have two windows in here to give you some good natural lighting and uh, pretty good sized bed I guess that's a queen size so again, this is a Flagstaff by Microlite 29KSWS by Forest River. And uh, again, I'm here at Reed Camper Sales. And if you're wondering about the price, go on the website there, folks. Check out the price of it. Uh, prices do vary from month to month at most dealerships. So it's always best just to check online and see what they are pricing it at. And I've said it before, but just in case you're new to the channel, I don't work for the company that makes these. I don't work for the company that sells them. I'm just a guy out here having fun, shooting a video, sharing this with you. So it really means a lot if you give me the thumbs up, like, and subscribe, all that great stuff. Leave some comments, questions below. Maybe somebody will have the answer for you. But like I said, give them a call. Go on the website, check it out. They'll have more information for you there. Hey, y'all have a great day. I appreciate you spending some time with me. Hope to see y'all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.